today we're going to do a shape pouring technique. So this is going to be our shape for today. So there's two canvases. For the second canvas, we are going to swipe. We're going to swipe. And then we're going to put this on and color in every single of this part. But we have to wait for the swipe to dry the swap to dry and then for this one so this is going to be like all of this is going to show up and then the background is going to be a swipe for this one we're going to make a black background and then put this on swipe and then this is going then then this acorn and all these are going to be colored in so we're going to test which one will turn out better so let's get started. We have a black. Let's just. take the, the white now let's well pour it for this one <laughs> Swipe or swipe, but we're not gonna put it. I have accidentally was about to do that. Anyways. The amount of colors is playing, but way too much. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be our first swipe. Kinda of forgot the technique of swiping, but now I just started remembering, which is a great timing. Mm. Ooh. It's so awesome. Here. <laughs> so take a look at um the what we just did, if you're wondering what we did, we tilted it a little bit, um, used the palette knife to make some lines on the empty spaces, and torched it and put some silicone oil, and this is how it turned out. I like it a lot. So we need to wait for this to dry, and then we can put this squirrel on the, the squirrel shapes on there, and then, well, you know what. <laughs> Now we're working on this, so hopefully it can turn out good, so let's get started.
some white. And at least I didn't pour as much as my side. Now let's get our napkin. Okay, so I'm going to do all the way from the black background. Swipe on everything. Okay. Keep on. Okay, since this side will look come on. We have to, we're going to swipe from this side even though I love all these so it's going to get just as much hopefully. Even though it can't count so one so Um, now we're done with the painting. This is the sides that we swiped on. And this is all the squirrels. This is how they turned out. I like it a lot. And this is the other side. I like all the cells and those stuff. One day and a half has passed and now it's dried. Here's how it looks. We're just going to need to put the napkin. Wondering why this part isn't on the canvas. We're just going for this. We're since see he's on a tree branch. So that's supposed to be up high. And squirrels and acorns are normally down low without being on a tree. So, yeah, we're just using silver and gold. I'm just say, well, we'll just, you know, do it. You don't have to know right now. paintings let's take a look well from this painting over here remember when we put on the wrap 
since we didn't have to wait for it to dry, we just um took off the wrap and dipped it onto a different canvas and put the black background around it. We didn't have to show that because we did the black background like a hundred times. <laughs> so um, comment below which one you think's the best. I personally, you don't have to always take it from me, but personally, out of all of these three insane paintings, according to my opinion, I'd say this one is the best. And I don't know about these two. It's hard. But if you didn't know that this was a dipping technique, come on. You would think it's, well, like, you would find it better because dipping techniques normally don't get the best results. You know. But comment below which one do you think looks best. This. Ding, ding. This. Ding. <laughs> Why am I always saying ding? And this. Since it's not dry. But we can still just... <laughs> So make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and comment, and peace.